on a cold November night in Crandall for the Pirates, the Greenville Lions came to town. Sweeper up the gun, he's got fall on the ball! And it looks like the Pirates may have fallen on it on the first play of the game! The Pirates draw first blood as Luke Moffat runs it in on the QB keeper. Moffitt's going to throw it back. He's looking for Chris Abron. And the pass is caught! Chris Abron! He'll give it to Abron right up the gut, looking for the hole to open up. He finds the hole inside the 10. It's going to bring up a first and goal to the five yard line. Philip Olivares hits a 20 yard field goal to give the Crandall Pirates a 10 0 lead. Joe Galley's pass is intercepted by Case Mumphrey. Boom, let it out. Markel Robinson's way caught. 30 yard line, Robinson 25. Make that the 30 at the 20 now and into the red zone. Now he get the ball right up the gut. Nobody's going to get him. Touchdown. 19 yards out. Chris Abram. Philip Olivares misses the extra point attempt, but Crandall retains a 16 0 lead over Greenville. Corbett Simpson in space. He's going to find a hole. He's going to find the first down into the red zone. Simpson in the gun. He will take it right up the gut and dive his way in. Touchdown, Greenville Lions. Here's Gordon West. Little play action. Finding Moffitt at the 50 yard line. Makes a man miss at the 40. On the run, and he's going to be tackled down. The Lion defense comes up with a big stop on fourth down in the red zone. Gordon with trouble. Now he's going to run. He's got full 40, 30. Looking for the first down. He's got it. Gordon throwing. He's got Sammy caught. First down to the 10 yard line. The Greenville defense stands their ground in the red zone again, but the Pirates take a 16 to 7 lead into the half. Gonna be play action. Gordon West finds Sammy oh, wide open, 40 yard line in Dreamo territory with back. some space to the 20. And he's he's got dead. Dead. touchdown! <laughs> Giving it to Sammy. Sammy's gonna throw. Oh, Sammy's no. gonna find a wide open got man. It. He's caught. That was Markel Robinson who gets the score for two. Joe Gallet connects with OJ Johnson for a big gain into Crandall territory. Joe Gallet connects with Zydarian Tyson for a 15-yard touchdown. No Sammy, and Sammy's going to run. Sammy's got to get the first Sammy's down going. across the 45. He's still got first feet. down at the 50. He's still on his feet into Greenville territory. Finally pushed out of bounds. Pass caught. Markel Robinson and is going to get touchdown. into the end zone. Touchdown, Pirates. The two-point conversion attempt by the Crandall Pirates is unsuccessful after a bad snap is recovered by the Greenville Lions. And now the throw, rocket intercepted by Miami at the 50-yard line on the return to the there point. He he's trying to be tackled down, and he will be. Rolling right, looking to throw. Now he'll shovel it. Caught Markel Robinson. First down yard inside the 10 and pushed out of bounds. Salt the four. Gordon West direct snap going up the middle. He's going to get into the end zone for a touchdown. Number five, Sammy for two, and it is 38 14. Quarterback looking to throw, taking a shot, and is high but called in at the 25-yard line by Degarian Anderson. The receiver Simpson rolling left in trouble, nowhere to go, lobs it up for grabs, and it's intercepted by Case Mumphrey on the return. Case Mumphrey across the 20 down near the 30-yard line. Andrew Anderson with a huge run into Greenville Lion territory. Uh, 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 
Jordan's play action, taking a shot. He's got Josh right. Smith at the 20 and wrestled down inside the 15 yard line. Jamonte Gordon West connects with Luke Moffitt for a 15 yard touchdown to extend Crandall's lead to 45 to 14. First in, delay, throwing, caught at the 35 yard line. He's going to get the first down at the 30, inside the 25, inside the 20. Tyson's going to be pushed out of bounds. Joe Galay runs it in from a yard out, making the score 45 to 21 Crandall. The Crandall Pirates defeat the Greenville Lions by a score of 45 to 21. A look at scores across the district. The Ennis Lions defeat the Corsicana Tigers 48 to 0. The 40 Jackrabbits defeat the Worst City Bulldogs 30 to 20. And the North 40 Falcons defeat the Sulphur Springs Wildcats 47 to 20. With the win, the Crandall Pirates improved to 6 and 4 on the season and 4 and 3 in district play, placing them at fourth place in district and clinching a playoff spot. With the loss, the Greenville Lions dropped to 3 and 7 on the season and 2 and 5 in district play and remain at sixth place in district. Be sure to tune in on Friday, November 12th as the Lovejoy Leopards host the Crandall Pirates for the bi-district round of the playoffs. Kickoff will be at 7 p.m. at Leopard Stadium in Lucas, Texas, and live radio broadcasts will be available at sportsgram.net. The Crandall Pirates are playoff bound!